What is going on guys, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching this brand new video. <laughs> uh, I finally did it, I freaking finally got Dark Matter. Look at this cheeky ass, it looks and doesn't look, look pretty. I have literally grinding my ass off my last past weeks, I'm grinding and grinding just for this Dark Matter. And damn it feels good to have it this early and just, just have it. What a painful situation it was sometimes. I have literally played now with every single gun and every single weapon in this game. And I want to kind of give you my feeling about this game, uh, guns. And there we go. Do bear in mind, most of the guns I have used in hardcore. Because it's so much easier to get a headshot there. So if you guys are struggling with it, just go to hardcore. Just just do it. <laughs> Good. Um, talking about the weapons. I think the assault rifles, the SMGs, the LMGs, the tactical assault rifles are absolutely no problem for me. Even guns like the Spitfire, but I thought this is going to be horrible. It was not that bad, actually. It was not so bad. It was not so bad. It's a horrible weapon, though. But it was not so bad to get the headshots. Uh, the Cordite was a headshot maker. It was an absolute... I think I had, after a while, I had like 20 headshots in a match. It was so super fast, this weapon. But, you know, I, I did it. I did it. The Sog there, uh, like I said, the tactical rifles were pretty good too. Even the Auger, the MR. I did that one in Core because you had more chance of getting a headshot because it was a two-gun two, two gun headshot, even with a um, high caliber sometimes one time. It was a great weapon. Do this in Core... Super easy, the ABR, the sword fears are melters, absolute melters. I just loved it. LMGs, no problemo. The headshots were just easy, just loving playing with them. The VKM, hip firing, what a piece of shit, but it was good. Now coming up to the snipers here, I already put a tweet out. I already put a tweet out online um, saying something, peep, Treyarch, peep, snipers. It was horrible. Of course, talking about the Paladin, there was no problem with the Paladin. The Paladin felt strong enough, good enough. Perfect, sure. Uh, the SDM was surprisingly fast done with the headshots, though. I did it on Core 2. Again, you know, you can take more bullets to yourself, so you can just aim for the head a little bit better. Absolutely brilliant. I freaking love it. It was a really good weapon. Korska. Let's go back to the SDM, actually. I'm saying pretty good weapon, and what I mean with this is, I know that this is a semi-auto sniper rifle. I know it. I really do know it, peeps. Okay? Um, so <laughs> I do know that you, you need to shoot two times, or sometimes even three times. Yes, that happened. Sometimes even three times. Um, but here coming up with Koska, a bolt action sniper rifle, fast handling, one shot to the head or chest, hold R3 while aiming down inside the steady. Sure. It was not always one shot. Absolutely not. You can just fuck off if you think this gun is always one shot. Absolutely not. It felt trash. It felt horrible. Um, of course, you can get some one, uh, one shots with a headshot. Sometimes it happened for chest. But it also happens so many times that I'm aiming for chest and it doesn't do one shot. Why? Body armor. Fuck off. Just literally fuck off with body armor in this kind of cases. I think they need to increase... Sniper rifles, jumping already a little bit forward, shotguns, increase those little bitches for just body armor. Just literally piss off, in my opinion, if you don't think that a sniper rifle should have more power, or a shotgun has more power, again, leaning forward already, than this. Ah, oh. But okay, I'm already super frustrated about the Karska. It was timely okay to do it. Uh, sometimes it was just horrible. Doing the block thirsties just got me crazy because of hit markers or whatsoever and I literally raged almost cried my girlfriend was sitting in the other room like thinking oh my god what is happening in there oh my god I hated it I hated it so fucking much but hey we got it done okay talking to the next weapon if you think the Kosh guy is bad try the fucking outlaw try it oh <sighs> okay this gun is an absolute trash moment, and I did this after the patch, and after the patch, it got decreased damage from 110 to 130, and I know it's a bolt action sniper again, and I know it says here actually a one kill shot to the head or upper chest, so like the shoulder parts, it did not, I almost always needed to do a two shot, it was, uh, of course there is a operator mod for it, so you can make a burst weapon of it, 
But holy shit, are you for real? It, it, it's the most trashiest gun, I'm, I'm literally saying, I think the Outlaw Sniper is the most trashiest gun in this entire game. I hated it, I hated it, I hated it, and I still do hate it. Even better said, if there's ever a moment coming that there is like a, a, a variant coming from the Outlaw, because you have like those tiers, you know, you can get variants of, what is it, the GKS at the, GKS at the moment, the Unicorn Gun, um, the ICR, the... Titan has one, I think, and the SG-12 shotgun has a variant. Oh, and the, what is it, the other sniper, the MX-9 has a variant like this one, and I think it's pretty, pretty dope, if you ask me. That is, that's a dope, that's a dope variant. I like this variant a lot. Now I have to choose which camo I want in this gun. Sure, whatever. If the Outlaw is getting a variant, I... Oh my god, just thinking about it, that I need to make 50 kills again with a fucking outlaw. <sighs> just unlock a variant of a gun that I'm never gonna use. That's gonna be a very a very difficult de decision for me. Do Am I gonna do it? Is it worth all the anger inside of me again? Or is Treyarch finally putting a patch that the gun is a little bit more stronger, just a little bit more... And otherwise, I'm just staying with the Paladin or even the Koska, I guess. Yeah, but okay. Good, there were all the, what is it, the primary weapons, as you guys can say it. All the primary, um, again, you know, assault, submachine, tactical, light machine, super easy, sniper rivals, pain in the butthole. But uh, I'm not going to say doable. It was absolutely horrible in my case. Maybe you're better with a sniper. I do I seriously hope for you guys that you're better with a sniper than me, because that was shit. Good. Going to the secondaries. Pistols in hardcore. The Strife. I was even close to a nuke with the Strife. It was th that gun is absolutely insane. I even you, you can even see it. I even leveled it up one time more. Uh, getting headshots with this gun was pretty easy, pretty decent to do. It was not a lot of problems with this. The RK7 kind of feel weak even for a burst. I mean, even. I, I needed to shoot a lot of times, even even in the hardcore. A lot more bullets. Uh, penetrating probably the, the, the armor with this gun is not easy because I don't think it has a attachment for it. No, it doesn't have an attachment for armor breaking. So that was a pain in the ass in the hardcore, breaking the armor. But it's a pretty, pretty good gun still and I really loved it. The other gun, what is it? It's the M-O-Z-U, the Mozu. Mozu, Mozu. Mm -hmm. um, it was good. Pretty good, decent weapon. It's pretty strong, definitely in hardcore. Kind of of a long range. It, I, I liked it. I liked. It. I never used the operator mod. Though. Maybe I need to do that one time. It's called splitter. I have no. Let's quickly look into what this call splitter does. Actually, no idea. Never used it. Uh, where does it go? There we go. Headshots are always lethal. Maybe I should just use this gun in Korean. If I knew that, oh my god, fuck! <laughs> I never read it. Nah, it's okay. Probably got the... Ah, it, never mind. <laughs> Good. Shotguns. I already have said my thing about shotguns. S SG-12 is just a freaking haymaker remake. What is what is my game doing here? You've been disconnected from Call of Duty servers. No! Put me back in! Are you kidding me? I'm recording a fucking video and this is happening right now? Good. Having said that, the SG-12 Hey, No, the SG-12 was a relative... What was it for me? It was a uh, just a copy from the Haymaker from Black Ops 3. It, it, it even needed to be for more shooting, just spamming the button and just hip firing for fucking shit because it had a laser sight number one and number two, so it didn't have a hip firing penalty hit fire penalty or whatsoever then it had an extended mag one and an extended mag number two how are you kidding me call of duty when we're loading in here thank you thank you call of duty jesus christ i don't know what happened there but okay um it was okay this gun i mean it's it's a spray to fucking win and it's like do 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 no honor to be doing that but you know if you want to play with this gun go ahead then the mog 12 the mark 12 God, is this weapon a god in zombies, though? Pack a punch. Fucking love it. But in freaking core. And I'm not talking about hardcore. And hardcore is a pain in the ass. It's a one-shot every time you hit a person, though. 
but uh, every single gun for just a little bit more range can just take you easily out. But the Mark 12, the Mark 12, uh, I think they need to increase the damage from this one. I told you about the sniper and I told you already, they, they need to increase it. it. It doesn't break armor as it should break armor in my feeling. It's not a one shot shotgun ever. When Crash uses the healing ability, it's an absolute trash gun in this way. And please, can we just make it a little bit stronger? Let me hate shotguns for the damage and not hate shotguns while I'm using them. Let me just hate shotguns when people are using against me and I'm like, fuck shotgun, you know? just. Pissing me off. That's what I want. That's what I like with Call of Duty. Black Ops 4. Um, not the Brecky. What was it? The KRM. That was a fucking one-shot weapon. It just came to me. You you knew you were done in this moment. Don't spray with the shotguns. Don't be a dick like a, a Brecky or a Haymaker. Just going across the map. Having absolute no talent. Just a right trigger finger. And just... Dum, dum, dum. Everybody freaking noob can do that. So please don't do that. If you want to use a shotgun, take the Mark 12 and make it increase damage. Go for it. I don't give a fuck. Let me just hate you that you fucking got me with a sniper. I don't give a shit. Okay? <sighs> what a painful. What a painful. Launcher. It, it had to be done. I mean, taking score streaks out of the sky. People do hate score streaks in this game. Huh? Just a simple UAV is like... You have a UAV up and it's immediately out of the sky. Holy fuck. Ugh. Now going to the last weapon here, the melee. I have been laughing my ass off of frustration, not really screaming, maybe sometimes, just a couple words, but... Uh, this melee weapon doesn't have any connection with, with, with enemies. It doesn't have connection at all. Holy shit, what a piece of shit was this! Uh, I hated the melee. I hated the melee so much. It, you slide to somebody, you're during the animation, you're literally inside that person's body and it just doesn't connect. You s stab it again, it doesn't connect and he just shoots you dead. It was funny, frustration. I, I think a lot of people were, who were in my lobby who I played against with, they were like, oh my god, this is a knifer. And I had a lot of fun to do this weapon. But also a lot of hate because the connection was so bad. And if there's ever coming new melee weapons, like we know from Black Ops 3 how many freaking melee weapons there came in the game, please don't do that again. And please, if you do that, make the melee connect connection just a tiny, no, a lot better, okay? Just, I don't know, just give me a jumpstart knife. I don't give a fuck, but just please. It felt so bad. It felt so bad. But I haven't done. It's all done. I can play whatever single weapon I want at this moment. I'm I'm happy with it, guys. I got Dark Matter. It was a pain in the ass sometimes. <sighs> but I can finally play now with, with setups I want to. I can grind going up for the Master Prestige. If you guys are interested, I am 5th Prestige, level 5th, 49. Oh my god, I have been no lifing way too many times. It was an absolute blast to do this game. I love this game. But having said that, I want to also say some stuff about this game, what can change, what can be better, or I think some ch things need to be changed, but please don't be hateful to this game, and I'm gonna say this into the next video, I'm gonna upload again a new video, don't be hateful to this game, give it a chance, um, zombie community, I do understand that you're like, fuck, you know, blue screens, I have it too when I was doing the easter egg and solo, it's a painful thing, but I wanna bring my opinion next week to to you guys. I want to I wanna do it. Or next video, actually. Um, holy shit. Just give it a chance, guys. It's absolutely worth it. Blackout. I'm going to grind it a lot more now. Because I did my Dark Matter shit. I'm getting more solos and more duos and more squads. Hopefully, my, my friends are play, playing too. We're going to do it, guys. It's it's an absolute... It's a fun game. I love it. I am love it. But I'm uh, hopping into the next one probably now. No, at first I need to edit, of course, this video. Otherwise, it's never coming online like my live streams whatsoever. But of course, um, if you do like this and if you agree with me, just, you know, press the like button. If you think like, hey, this weapon sucked too, absolutely, just put it down in the comment section below. If you have more tips for a kind of weapon for the next person who wants to do this dark matter, please put it down in the comment section below too. Um, of course, guys, there is a new app. I'm looking for my phone, but I'm recording on my phone, you dumb dumb. Uh, there is a new app of Call of Duty Companion. You can get 500 Call of Duty points for free. Um, if you want, we can squad up and just do a lot of squad challenges in there. It'll be a lot of fun. Thank you so much all for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.